climbing rope with an ice place, and it's already got a, a climbing system here. All right. So yeah, we're just gonna clean up the the deadwood. There's a there's a big chunk of deadwood in the middle there, a big vertical, and then a few others, obviously, and then we're gonna take a bunch from over the pool there. But I just wanted to show you this this system that I want to start experimenting with. Um, it's a concept. It's right out of uh, Jepson's um, Tree Climber's Companion. Okay. He talks about the idea of having a pre-installed secondary climbing line as a rescue line in case, yeah. you know. Um, and it's, so, it's something that I want to experiment with this year. And I don't want to be like ideological about it. I don't want to say every single tree, every si single situation. Just, you know, a big tree like this, and, and it's a trimming job. It would be nice. I don't think it's going to uh, take us much extra time to set up. You know what I mean? So what I have in the bottom of my climbing line here, I have a, a, a 75 foot chunk of climbing rope with a, an eye splice. Uh, and it's already got a, a climbing system here, uh, SRT. So um, I'm going to, the first time we do this, I'm going to try setting this up the way uh, Richard Mumford has shown with this exact setup. So he's got a, a quickie shackle through the eye so he's just he's setting up a canopy anchor on the quickie and then he's got this retrieval line it's just accessory cord attached to it right so I'm gonna get up to the top and then I'm gonna get you to tie this on I'm gonna pull it up and hook it up and we'll just we'll just see how it goes today this is our very first experiment with this so basically you're gonna tie on right here to my line and then you're gonna have to as I pull up you're gonna have to work the hitch, right? Like to loosen the hitch, and you're gonna have to be pulling the down a little on, bit. On my end? Yeah, okay. uh, on the on the ground. Yeah, you're like you're gonna have to yeah. release the the okay. wrench and the hitch at the same time, okay. and it's gonna pull up like that, right? So that you'll have access. The hitch will end up being down here, and it's yeah. just gonna stay here the whole climb. All right, and then yeah, so it's 75 foot of climbing rope and 75 foot of accessory cord, which is gonna be fine for most trees that we're using this on, right? Because it's just a canopy anchor. Hand me my lanyard there. Did I show you this? I got a swivel oh. for my lower attachment point. Because when you get into awkward situations, yeah, it's, it's twisted. it twists weird and I hated it. I just started using the lower attachment point for my lanyard like two years ago. Mm -hmm. Up until then, I always used the main attachment points. Any saddle with lower attachment points for your lanyard is awesome, man. It's such a nice additional option. See, so yeah, I got you a, a rope walking setup. Well, it's it's old stuff, but it's it's good. I used that other one you gave me a few times. Oh, the the foot ascender. Yeah, the foot ascender. So I have a different foot ascender, which I like more than than that other one, but still not the best foot ascender. But whatever. And then my old um, my old knee ascender, which is the other version of this called the Saka Mini. Yeah, this, that's this big, this big dead vertical here. That's gonna be a pain.
Okay, attach that uh, second rope. <clears throat> so yeah, you can see I'm here on the base tie. So I was able to hit hit a nice tying point from the ground. Nice vertical here. So I'm just gonna install a uh, rescue line as a canopy anchor, as an experiment. Right on. on here okay hmm. that's not gonna work because it's twisted around there oh I know what I can do just unclip the accessory cord Right. Okay, so there's my canopy anchor. And then just clip the accessory cord to the eye. All right. All right, she's hooked up. At least that big lower one. So this is a nice sleeping spot there, probably. Okay. All right, so here I am further down. This is my pre-installed rescue line with a accessory cord retrieval line. Okay. There you go. Nice. Okay. Say your prayers.
Ooh. Yeah, she was tip heavy. Not too bad though. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try and push the butt end through there on your side. Be nice if Alex was here, wouldn't it? Uh, if you push, then I can pull, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, okay, try that. Lock it off. You gotta do it carefully without, so you don't lose anything. It's dropping as you do it. It's difficult, I know. Oh, that might not have helped. Nice. Here, um, damn. As you're holding the rope, try and walk straight back and grab that pole. Try and walk back, you gotta take the slack as you come, I know it's a pain. Made for this. Okay. And try and hook it on here. If I can get that pull. Okay. I got it. Yep. Okay, now hold tight on the rope. I got it. I think I can pull the tips. And then you can, we can turn it sideways and drop it straight down. There. Hell of a job. Nice. All right. Yeah, so you're just gonna hold. It should be fairly balanced and there's lots of friction. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, stand clear. I'm gonna throw it and you drop it. Ready? There you go. Okay. Nice. Looks all right. How far do you want to go back up? <laughs> What's that? How far do you want to go back up? <laughs> the only real like, things I can notice are like way on the ends here. Yeah. Cross the branch, cross the branch, and way at the end there's like a dead. Looks 
a lot better than dead. So what's your, uh, what's your first impressions about this extra climbing line? <laughs> well, you hope you never use it. Uh, in terms of setting it up, what do you think? Oh, that's fine. Were you able to do it like I was saying, like yeah. hold the wrench and the hitch? It was pretty tight though. I had, to, I had to use two hands. Okay. So what? What we? Oh, I should have mentioned. I should just loosen it off. Yeah, right? loosen it off before we start. But I just want it to be ready to go. go. So I was just like, okay. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, let's get this cleaned up and then we'll get these ropes out. See how this system comes out. So we're done the climb. We got a few different options here. Uh, I've been thinking to take it out, just take all of this off. It's probably faster. I do like the idea of having it pre-rigged when we start, but at the end, I think, pull everything off and then let's see how this retrieves. So we go to our retrieval line here. Shouldn't be too bad. Right? So just like that. And then I'll just pull it right out. Let's have a heads up here. Awesome. So like I say, I'm not gonna, I'm not planning on using it in every tree or everything, but I'm thinking probably anything over 40, 50 foot would be a really nice option to have a pre-installed line. So I'm thinking in, instead of having it right at the end, like we did, where you had to tend it the whole way up, what if I put it maybe 20, 30 feet from the end and that'll give you another 40 foot of just bare rope yeah. to pull and that'll be easier to set up, I think. What hitch are you using these days? Uh, I guess I'm playing around with that. I never liked that. I played with it I'm and it, it, with it. I'm not sure if I like it or not yet. It would just lock up so hard on me. Does that's it do it? I, that's why I don't like the VT. You, you've had the VT lock up? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know if it's, but I haven't. I haven't tried the VTU since I took that milk out of the rope, so it might be better now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you got a ton of milk out of your rope. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I'll go with like six
There. So like I say, that's in my climbing rope bag. Yeah, on the bottom. On the bottom. So it's always there. 